one. Oh, oh, look at that! Oh my god! That Hey yo, what's going on? Hope you're having a great day today and where even am I? I don't even know what's going on. Can you get the f out of my house? Yeah, <laughs> two years ago this photo was taken. Pretty much I want to recreate this photo. How sick is this? It's such a simple idea. Literally just going somewhere, having a water bottle and then taking a high speed photo of the water just coming out of the water bottle. We have to have something that fits over the front of the lens that is see-through. Otherwise, yeah, I don't yeah. want to soak my camera. Yeah. I've already crashed my drone into yeah. water. I don't want to <laughs> no, crash no my water, camera okay. into we water. Don't want to <laughs> we need to go out and find something that'll work. <laughs> Let's go shopping! <laughs> Pretty much like glass, something that's completely see-through. If we can find that, then we'll be sweet, but I don't think there's actual like proper glass. Transparent, that's what we need. <laughs> yeah, this, this is what we need. All right, perfect. Something like that and just cut it up. Something smaller, unless we can just snap it. Can we snap it? Yeah, we could probably We won't snap do it, it here. No, I'm not gonna... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just that... in store, just like... <laughs> yeah, see? Other way. That's pretty still, bad. It's not see-through enough. It needs to be more transparent. Is there a place in Melbourne that just sells glass? Oh yeah, yeah. lots of them. You can but just not walk today. In. Yeah. Not today. We can't seem to find any glass. This Bunnings doesn't have any glass, and they checked on like the other sites and everything as well, and they don't have any glass either. So do you reckon like a picture frame would work? I will look around for a picture frame. If we can find something like that, then that will be good. But the problem is it's Sunday and everything's closed. <laughs> I think we're sweet. This should be big enough. You reckon this will be big enough? Oh my God, bro, look at this. <laughs> that is sick. Oh my God. Looks good. Look at this for a location. It's pretty busy, that's the only downside and the fact that it's sunny so the lighting's not the best, but you gotta make do. We need to try and do it when there's not too many people around because you don't wanna be splashing water all over people. And then the second thing is, well, we can't do anything about the lighting, so I think we should just get into it. What do you reckon? Yeah, get into it. Let's do it. Essentially, you just... So wait, <laughs> I'm, so I'm just gonna like do that. You're okay. gonna take the photo, but like, are you gonna hold Yeah, I think that? I'm just gonna hold... That. This could either work really well or just not work at all. But since when have I ever gone by that anyway? I'll check it out. Oh, nah, I'm missing completely. Should I just like practice like on your face? You want? Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> what have you done? You got easier it is to hold now. Three, two, one. <laughs> I think we just got to accept that you're going to get wet. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm already getting wet, it's fine. <laughs> I'm such a good mate. That was thrown a bit different. Oh, Look at that! Yeah. Oh my god! That's the Particles shot. just going everywhere. That's First we sick. thought we got the shot, but now, <laughs> now we definitely we got, got, got the, the shot. shot. Literally got the perfect shot somehow. Yeah. I'm soaked. Oh, I thought oh. you were going to say, I'm stoked. <laughs> uh, I'm soaked. Yeah, sorry stoked. bro. You know how they do that with the um... <laughs> With champagne? <laughs> no, it's not gonna work. No, you're not a race car I'm driver, man. Not gonna. <laughs> <laughs> we got the shot. <laughs> Woo! Uh, really you're such a dick. Another day done and dusted. So, first off, the location. Obviously, as I rocked up to this location, like I'd never seen this place before. I never knew this place even existed in Melbourne. And when I saw it, I was like, 
Oh my God, like look at the lines on this thing. Like architecturally, this place is amazing. I was actually really happy with this photo. It took a bit of trial and error. We probably took like maybe like 15 photos or something because it was in a public location because it was so busy there was a lot of people like cyclists and people just running through it and stuff like there was just people all over the place in it even in this photo there's a person in the background you can't really notice him but that's all good but I, I could have easily photoshopped that out but I couldn't be bothered <laughs> but in terms of this location it all came down to the timing like we were just waiting for the people to leave I think that what makes this photo so good is the fact that this is shot on a 16 to 35 mil because of that wide angle lens you get a lot of the background but you also get good bokeh because I'm so close to the camera. So it isolates the water really well and it creates that really cool, the water is coming so close to the camera kind of effect. Considering it wasn't cloudy at all and it was just direct sunlight, I think that in this example, it was actually really good because, because of the fact that the architecture was the way it was, like with the lines and like the beam things going over us, it casted these really cool shadows on the ground and we definitely wouldn't have had that if it was cloudy. And also the fact that the sun was actually behind me, so it created this really nice backlight and it made the water actually shine a lot more. So Direct sunlight, for some reason, for once, is actually really good. I think the next time if I did something like this, I would probably get more water, believe it or not. Like I would probably have two bottles and just kind of like shake it up, like do different kind of things. All right, question of the day. Which mode do you use the most? P, A, S, M. Okay, so P stands for programmed auto, A stands for aperture priority auto, S stands for shutter priority auto, and M stands for manual. And the reason you use that, PS, I'm addicted to your videos. Thanks, man. 99.9% <laughs> of the time, I will use manual. Pretty much just because every situation is different. The only reason why I would use aperture priority auto would be if I'm shooting a time lapse and the lighting changes over time and I'm not actually able to adjust the settings myself. But apart from that, literally just always manual. All right, well, that's the end of the video. If you like this video, maybe consider liking and subscribing. It's up to you. You know what to do. It was awesome hanging out with you again and I'll Catch you next time.